Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled Falcon 9 Boost Back. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image uh, taken from the last Falcon 9 launch, and the image itself was only a little over a minute, about a minute and a half long, and we can see within it the star trails. So the stars appear to move, and that is, of course, because the Earth is rotating. So if we do not track the stars, which is normally done in astronomical photographs, we adjust the camera so that it turns a little bit as the Earth does to match the Earth's rotation, and that makes the stars appear to stand still in most photographs. Otherwise, they would start to move and form circles like this one. And what we see uh, in with it is the launch trails from the Falcon 9 launch uh, taking materials up to the International Space Station. Now to the left side, you can see the launch trail there, and towards the middle of the photograph, you can see where the stages separated. So we use multiple stages in rockets as a way to be able to launch them efficiently. So the very large first stage takes takes a lot of energy and a lot of fuel to launch the uh, craft off the Earth's surface and to push it through the thickest part of the Earth's atmosphere. Then that separates once it's used, and in this case, the upper part is showing where the uh, trail is bringing that Falcon 9 uh, launch uh, vehicle back to Earth. So the first stage had actually flown into space multiple times, and here we can see where it's bringing back down to Earth. Now that's different than the way rockets used to be handled, where the first stage was just expended and would be uh, dumped off in the oceans uh, as an example so that it would not actually come back and be reused. Uh, the other, then the other stage down towards the lower portion is, is the one that is launching, heading up into space. So the second stage would then ignite, and that would then uh, give additional boost uh, to get that further up and to get it into the low Earth orbit needed in order to reach the International Space Station, which is in a relatively low Earth orbit, just a couple hundred miles up above the surface of the Earth. So the reusable rockets, kind of one of the things that started with the shuttle where parts of the shuttle were actually reusable, uh, the craft itself being able to be reused. And now we're getting to the point where many more pieces of the crafts are able to be reused again and again, uh, make, saving some costs in terms of not having to redesign, uh, rebuild the entire rocket, but only having to bring it back and refill it with fuel and, of course, do maintenance as we would with any other area and bring that, use that again for multiple launches. And here in this case, it has actually been... Uh, many times that this has occurred, and in fact, the uh, SpaceX uh, boosters, this is the 50th landing of these, uh, of these boosters, not this specific one, but overall of the various boosters that are used uh, on miss missions like this. So that was our picture of the day for March the 12th of 2020. It was titled Falcon 9 Boost Back. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be an awesome starry night. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.